guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene and my channel is called Dress Yourself Happy. Today's makeup look is just focused on the eyes. I recently wore this a few videos ago and I got a lot of requests asking me to show you guys how to do an Asian cut crease. Now, I didn't actually intend to do an Asian cut crease, but I've always loved the look of a cut crease look. Unfortunately, because my eyes are not as deep set and I don't have that defined crease, I did have to carve it out a little bit more, and you guys actually were like, how do you do an Asian cut crease? So I will show you my version. I do soften up the cut crease line a lot, because otherwise, when I chisel it out, it looks just a little too fake if you're in real life, like up close staring at me. So this is kind of my version of how to kind of fake a cut crease and I'm by no means a professional makeup artist or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial and let's move into the eye look. Prepping my eyelids first, I am using a Laura Mercier Eye Basics. This is in cotton and honestly I like it but it was almost a little too sticky to work with some of the shadows I was using and I'm just blending it out with a brush and then patting it in with my fingers to really like warm it up and make it smooth so the palette I'm using is the one I got from my BoxyCharm if you guys saw that unboxing and if you don't have it or didn't get it you can definitely use like any eyeshadow palette that you might already have so I am just going to set the eye basic with a cream shadow and this really you want to intensify the highlight and also set any kind of cream prepping products to really accentuate the highlights and shadows of the eye especially if you have not as deep set eyes as a lot of Caucasian eyes can be or um, other eye shapes. So then I'm using a dark brown and you want to go with a matte color and I'm just carving out my crease. So I do have a crease and I don't have a full mono lid but it's not as deep as I would like for a cut crease. So I'm doing that and then blending it out using a MAC 217 dupe which is the Morphe one. Then I'm using a really thin brush and going in with a deeper matte and kind of just penciling in the crease even more. So this is defining it even more and then I'm going to blend it out using a fluffy brush. And when I blend things out, I typically use a clean brush for that. So you can see I kind of wing that out too and this kind of uplifts my eyes and helps accentuate the almondness of my eyes but make it look a little bit bigger and more opened. So I'm blending this out with this brush from Milani. It's the crease brush. I love this brush. It's like the perfect shape and fluffiness. So I'm blending, 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 penciling in, blending again. So for this eye look, it's just a lot of penciling, blending, penciling, blending, and building it up. Then I'm going in with this taupey shade or a light, light brown, and this helps soften up the edges just a little bit because I didn't want it to be looking so choppy. And part of the reason it was looking so choppy was because I did use that Eye Basics. Um, which was very, very sticky. Great if you have smoother eyeshadows, but this was just more pigmented. Then I'm going to redefine my lid by highlighting with that white beige shade again. And you can intensify this by using an even more white, true to white eyeshadow. And I just keep doing that. And then I also just kind of blend it out a little bit. And I'm going to define my brow bone as well using the same shade and also softening up a little bit of that definition. Next up, I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes with that shimmery white shade and I just use a pencil brush for this and then I blend it out with a fluffy brush like so. <laughs> Then I'm going to go back in with that white and define my brow bone even a little bit more. You just want to like do the definition, step back, see if it's where you like it and build up where you want, blend out what you don't like and just kind of keep going with it. And like I said, you can use any eyeshadow palette, just kind of stick with these color schemes. I'm going in with a little bit more of the um, light brown and just redefining that cut crease a little bit more and this isn't like a traditional cut crease because like I said in the intro um, my eye shape doesn't really work with the traditional techniques of a cut crease but I kind of take that technique and make it work for my eye shape and hopefully this will help you out too so I'm using the Laura Mercier eye ink and I just draw my eyeliner I'm doing a slight wing and I like to start from the center of my eye and then work out and then go back in because I just find that when I start from the center I have more hand 
handle on and control of what I'm doing and then I finish off with the wing so it could be hit or miss with me I'm better at working on my right eye than I am on my left eye so you can see like I'm kind of screwing this up but then when I go in with my other eye I'm a lot better at it and you gotta just be brave like just be confident and go for it Okay, so now I'm gonna apply some falsies, but I do have a couple extensions left, so I kinda just comb those out, make sure my eyelashes are as combed out as possible, no tangles. And what I like to do is use these kind of like three, a three piece attachment kind of a thing. So they're not individual eyelashes, but they're as small but easy to handle. These are from House of Lash. I'll find out the model and put them in the description box along with all the other products. But what I recommend is dipping it in glue and then letting it almost dry completely before trying to apply it. You can see I was jumping ahead and it doesn't stick as well. Another tip is to have the mirror below you. So I'm looking down. I don't close my eyes. I am just looking down and then I apply the lash with a tweezer, but then I kind of adjust it to make sure it's going the right direction with my fingers. And I just go from one eye to the other because this helps me kind of gauge where to place each individual lash. And I do like to overlap a little bit so that there isn't any gap, but this also makes it look a lot more natural and I place the eyelashes on my actual lashes and where my lashes basically the root of my lashes um, some can say that this will tear out your lashes I don't think it will if you remove it with oil at night and make sure you really remove the glue but then I switch into the Ardell um, like individual ones and these are a little bit smaller so as I go in I use smaller lashes and that's just my personal preference because I like to accentuate the almond shape of my eyes and you just go back and forth back and forth you really have to just be confident and I find that if you don't curl your lashes it's easier to apply the lashes so don't mask don't put any mascara don't curl your lashes I used to make that mistake and it was really hard for me to work with the um, falsies so this is how I do it and it was actually not the best way of recording this but it was really hard to kind of record it on my own so if you guys want to see me use my vlog camera to apply it let me know and I'll try and do a more like vlog style and maybe I can get it on camera more like have it shoot in a, from below if you know what I mean so then I kind of just play with it and make sure that they are all going the same way Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more makeup looks or if you like something that I've done in a previous video, please let me know. I'm going to try and do a little bit more of these. Obviously, my go-to makeup looks are very, very wearable and natural and easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you do so. I upload new videos five times a week, every Sunday through Thursday, plus I have a podcast go live every Friday on iTunes, Google Play, as well as Lisbon. All of that information will be linked in the description box below. Follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter. If you are having a bad day or needed to de-stress and de-wind and de-wind, if you are watching my video just to de-stress and unwind from your day, thank you so much for choosing my video to watch. I hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in but if anything I just hope my video took your mind off of whatever it is you needed to take your mind off of and until next time I will see you guys right back here on this channel bye